Hi DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today I'm going to be going over how to get the serial number off of your Honeywell key fob. Now, first of all, what is a key fob? So the key fobs are these devices here. Usually you see these uh, linked into your, like your car keys, your house keys, and you use these to arm and disarm your security system. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to arm and disarm a, and experimenting with the Honeywell Lyric system. Um, so first of all, uh, there's a whole bunch of different manufacturers of key fobs today. We're touching on just Honeywell's. Um, and normally, whenever you guys get the key fob, whether you're actually buying it brand new or it's being passed down to you from a house that you're moving into that had an, an existing system, most key fobs will actually have the serial number on a sticker on the back. If you look at this 5834, you should see the sticker on the back. This is a normal 345 megahertz frequency Honeywell set, uh, key fob, and you will, you'll see that it starts with one letter and seven numbers following after that. The next device that I have is the 6 fob. If you look at the back of the 6 fob, it also has a sticker. It's 16 hexadecimal, so it has different letters and different numbers. And if you look at the back, you'll see the sticker. That'll be the easiest way to find the serial number on most of these sensors. Now, most of you guys may have gotten sensors where the sticker was already peeled off. Well, if you guys want another easy way of finding the, the serial number on these um, key fobs would be there's little screws on the back. There's one right here, and then there's also one on the 5834-4. If you guys have a small little screwdriver, you can unscrew that. And then if you guys take a look at the back cover, the same sticker that you guys saw on the on the on the back of the main unit, the big sticker, it'll there actually be a smaller sticker on the inside in smaller writing that has the serial number as well. Now, what happens if both of those stickers are gone? If both of those stickers are missing? Um, the only op other option at this point would be to auto enroll them into your panel. Um, today I'll be demonstrating it with a Lyric system, but if you have an L7000, if you have an L5210, L5100, any Honeywell system that has a wireless receiver, you should be able to auto enroll these, these key fobs. So today I'm going to show you guys how to auto enroll both of these key fobs into a Lyric system so that, that way you can get the serial number. We're first going to go ahead and make our way into programming. So for programming, you will need the installer code. Uh, mine is defaulted at 4112. So I hit security. I'm going to make my way over to tools. And like I said, mine is defaulted at 4112. That should take me into this programming screen. If you, you entered in your installer code, which yours obviously as well may be different. You or your company may have changed it. But if you're entering the code and you're not taken to this screen um, where you have a programming option on your panel, then you're, you didn't use the correct code. All right, so make sure you have the installer code. After you enter in the installer code, you hit program. Now, normally when we're adding in wireless devices, we go to zones, but today key fobs actually have their own section. So we're gonna go to keys. When we go to keys, we're going to add new. Now, when we add new, we hit serial number. We have to put the panel into a listening mode. And for the 5834, it's actually pretty easy. I just have to press one button for two seconds. The panel beeps. I have to do this a total of three times. So that was my first one. My second one will populate the serial number. And then my third one will lock it in. Now I have my serial number 0010488. If we look back at the back of the 5834-4, you'll see that the serial number says A0010488. The number, or I'm sorry, the letter will not come up on the serial number screen for a normal 5834 device. If you guys are using the 6 fob, which is the one that only works on the Lyric that, that's fully encrypted and hexadecimal, those letters will show up and I'll show you that in a second. So now that we've uh, auto-populated the serial number, you can go ahead and match them up. 0010488. So they match, perfect. I need to give it a user code. If you don't give it a user, it will not allow you to save. After I give it a user, um, this key fob is now set to the master user. Whenever I arm or disarm, it will be using the master code to arm and disarm the system. I'm going to hit save. 
I'm going to go again to add new. And now I'm going to go serial number. And now I'm going to show you guys learning in the six fob. Six fob is a little more difficult. You actually have to press uh, the top two buttons instead of just any button like the 5834. Um, but on the six fob, specifically, you have to press the top two. So the little check mark with the shield and the shield with the line running across it. I'm going to press and hold. The lights start blinking. I'm going to go ahead and release it. And usually it'll auto populate. Sometimes if you're too close, it does cause an issue. I'm going to back away a little bit. The lights will start blinking back and forth between each one. And then since the panel's in listening mode, it should pick up on the six signal. Now again, just to confirm, these letters are actually pretty skinny on this one. Or I'm sorry, pretty uh, hard to read, but zero, zero, delta, zero, two, delta, foxtrot, foxtrot, Foxtrot Echo, Foxtrot Alpha, 3 Bravo, Foxtrot 9. As, as If you can see on the little sticker there, um, on the pre, in the previous image when we zoomed in onto the back, um, you'll, you'll see that the, uh, the Bravo sometimes looks like an 8 when you guys are looking at these stickers printed on Honeywell devices. So make sure that you guys distinguish what an 8 and what a, what a B as in Bravo looks like. Um, but basically, it auto-populated. That's also a benefit of auto enrolling you don't make mistakes like that it actually picks up on the signal on its own populates the serial number on its own um, i'm just going to go ahead and hit done i uh, it, it auto populates again the uh all the arm away disarm arm stay puts them into their own fields the one uh important thing when you guys are learning in fobs is you have to keep in mind each fob takes up pretty much three to four zones you can also do double zone where like uh so some of these swaps can take up eight zones if you if you do plan on doing two button presses. So like if you press the two buttons at the same time, it does a different action. So there's a lot of different things you can do with these files, but they do take up multiple zones. Each button is a different zone. So that's something to keep in mind. And again, if you don't give it a user, you try to hit save, the panel will say missing serial number or user. It's not the serial number we're missing. We have that. So it's just missing the user. Again, I'm just going to leave it as master. I'll hit save. I'll hit the back arrow key. We've now auto-populated. We've gotten the serial number um, off of the key fobs. If you want to confirm that they actually work, I can go ahead and arm away. Arm away. Exit now. I can disarm with the six fob. Disarmed. Ready to arm. Time. I, can, I can arm stay with the six fob. Arm stay. And I can disarm with the Honeywell key fob. Remember, both of these key fobs right now, they're using the master user code to arm disarm. So they're always sending that master user code down to the panel. Um, so that's pretty much the easiest way to find serial numbers on the, on the key fobs. You either have a sticker on the back, you have the sticker on the inside, you just need a little screwdriver to remove that small screw, pull it away. Or you can auto-populate them the same way we just did when we uh, programmed these key fobs pretty quickly into the Lyric system. If you guys have any questions at all about the key fobs, feel free to send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found the video helpful, make sure that you hit like underneath, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and also hit the little bell icon to enable notifications so when we upload new content, you guys get notified. I'm George, and I'll see you guys next time.